power. Unity, 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 unity is the power. 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 Unity is the power. Unity, unity. The power unity, 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 unity is the power, 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 unity is the power, unity, unity, my mother was a kitchen girl. My father was a garden boy, that's why I'm a child care worker, I'm a child care worker, I'm a child care worker. My mother was a kitchen girl, my father was a garden boy, that's why I'm a child care worker, I'm a child care worker, I'm a child care worker. Those days I was suffering, those days I was suffering, those days I was suffering, I was suffering, I was suffering. Today I'm a professional, today I'm a professional, today. I'm a professional, I'm a professional, I'm a professional. My mother was a kitchen girl, my father was a cunning boy, that's why. I'm a teacher today, I'm a teacher today, I'm a teacher today. My mother was a cunning girl. My father was a garden boy, that's why I'm a teacher today, I'm a teacher today, I'm a teacher today. Those days I was suffering, those days I was suffering, those days I was suffering, I was suffering. I was suffering today. I'm a professional today. I'm a professional today. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. I'm a professional. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. I've been, uh, I came to Osizwini Center about 15, 16 years ago with our sister here. And now it's different center. And I feel that I am elevated, motivated, and empowered by all of you. So people sometimes come to Africa. They think Africa has nothing. But Africa has the wealth of knowledge. Africa has the wealth of the land. Africa has the wealth of the people, which is amongst all and every one of you. Africa is the hope and the future for all of us that we need to build together. We should believe in ourselves that we are capable. We should believe in ourselves that we are leaders. We should believe in ourselves that we are change makers. Because Allah has created us equal, equal regardless of the race, the background, the religion, we are equal. Before God, we are equal. With God, we are equal. No differences. No differences. What I would like each and every one of us here to trust himself and herself, that she can do the change, that she can make the change, and that she can build the future of our community, the future of the Anadel, the future of South Africa, and the future of Africa. To be very honest, since I came here two or three days ago, I learned a lot from people like you. From people like you, you teach me. Because your knowledge is different to my knowledge. I'm being educated somewhere, but the African knowledge in South Africa is with you. 
So, Amanda. 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 You see? See, this is what I learned from you. I want to sing your song when I travel to some other countries. And I thank Osizwini Community Center for providing me the chance to be with you, sir. I love being an African from North Africa, because originally from Egypt, but I love Africa. I am a black African. Very black, very, very... Lights up again. We are all African. Vive l'Afrique. Vive l'Afrique. Vive l'Afrique. Inshallah. So that's what we need. Confidence in our heart. Believing in our community. Believing in ourselves. And believing that actually all the wealth is not in the hand of an individual. It's in the hand of God. When I relate myself to God. <laughs> When I relate myself to God, God helps me, God guides me, God teaches me, and God gives me the wealth that he has in my land. So my message to all of us today, don't let anybody to let you down, to put you down, to talk to you that you are different to them. No way. We are equal. We are equal. We are equal. We are equal. This is what we, we learned from South Africa. You see our great leader who passed away a few years ago, Mandela. What do you call Mandela? What do you call him? Huh? Tatu Mandela. Tatu Mandela. He's a great man. And he's not only a leader for South Africa. He's a leader for humanity. And each and every one of you could become a new Mandela. This young girl who is playing now could become a new... This young man, you can become a new Mandela. Are you sure? Yes? <laughs> So that's what you, you produce great leaders. Desmond Tutu, you remember you know Desmond Tutu? Yeah, he's a great leader as well. So from our country in South Africa, we we'll produce as mothers like yourself, like yourself, like all of you, great leaders. Keep producing leaders. Keep standing up on your feet. Keep believing in yourself. Keep actually being patient because we cannot change our community unless we are patient, unless we are trying to do what our community wants. This center is a center of excellence. Come on next to me, sister. She is running a center of excellence, actually, that actually we need to support you and her together. And actually what you are doing is a great job, and I will promote it. When I go back to London, when I go to Canada, when I go to other places, Actually, this is a great people, needs help because they are doing the right job, not only for South Africa, far, but for humanity as well. You want to say something before we leave? Mm, I just want to say thank you to all donors for, for Islamic Relief, and they may continue to help us because with your help, we are not having the great place like this and a um, success story like uh, Alina's. And we still need your help because uh, this vulnerable, it's a continuous thing. So thank you a lot. Thank you for all these years that you support us. If it was not Islamic Relief and their donors, I don't know what will be. Thank you. But actually, but, we're, but, but actually on the other side, Islamic Relief has to thank you because without you, Islamic Relief could not have been having a success story in Canada or in USA or in Europe or in any part of the world. It's you. It's you. It's all of you. It's because of you who are successful. It's because of you who are actually talking about a success story. It's you. It's the one who are leading actually Islamic Relief and other organizations. That's what is my message to you. It's not this man, okay? It's not this man. No, it's you. If you are not a successful individual at organization, Islamic Relief could not have been a successful organization. So it's because of you. We believe in you, we trust to you, and we respect you, and we want you to empower us. We want you to elevate us, and want you to guide us, you and your team. You are the source of guidance for us. 
You are the source of empowerment to us and you are a source of respect to us. And I thank you more than thanking Islamic Relief. Because you are being born in a difficult country and they are being born in an easier country. In Canada, in America, in France, in Germany, in Belgium, wealthy countries. But here, the struggle and here, the dedication and here, the commitment and here, the drive from you in Osses Weenie Community Center. Amanda. Awaits. Amanda. Awaits. Amanda. Awaits. I love you. I love you three. We love you five. I love you ten. We love you twenty. I love you hundred. We love you one thousand. <laughs> Thank you. Now we have to go to another place. But be sure, inshallah, I will do my best, inshallah.